Well, hi, Nixter. Um, happy birthday. <laughs> you're, uh, you're at the halfway point at least, or not even at the halfway point yet. Um, and I'm glad you're sticking around to find out how the story ends. Um, whew. so Nick, I, um, uh, Guy and, and Jody, uh, sent me a video for my birthday and they did something that sparked my imagination. So what I did on your birthday was I drew this tarot card from uh, the Toth deck, uh, which uh, Angelus Arian wrote about in her book, The Tarot Handbook. And it's called uh, The Prince of Discs. Uh, that'd be like the Prince of Pente uh, Pentacles in other ones. And you can see a bull pulling a chariot and uh, the prince is uh, naked and he's got all these rocks behind him and it's a, it's a very exciting card. And so what I want to do is I want to read you what the abbreviated version of what Angelus uh, wrote about this uh, particular card. And I, I really commend you uh, to get your own copy of this book and this deck and use it as a divination. And I use this every morning. Um, and so this is what she says about the, the little synopsis uh, about the Prince of Discs. The physical architect. This is physical activity. The doer, the builder, the sports person. The body is totally exposed and there is good muscle tone. This is Taurus, the determination to apply many gifts of building in the world. There is an eye for beauty, determination to move forward with steel-like determination, like it's a steel chariot, uh, in, in, in building a new world uh, for yourself and... Uh, that will be more fruitful and abundant with less obstruction. The many little boulders uh, on the back of the chariot. This is earth and air. There is a winged bull on the prince's helmet indicating the Taurus earth energy is very influential in one's thinking, the concrete practical thinking. When this card is drawn for you, And if you're drawn to this card, if you like what this card is saying, it's an indication that there are issues concerning physical activity, building, rebuilding, sports, and good muscle tone. There is a steel-like determination to move forward with less blocks and obstacles. There is also the gift of practical thinking. Walking the spiritual path with with practical feet. That's the big work. And so now I want to sing you a song that when, uh, when I heard it first in the, in the jungle, it opened my heart. And it's, it's, it's asking different uh, animals and plants and teachers and spirits to come in and hold us like their baby, to cuddle us, like we'd never been cuddled before accepted for who we are, and <clears throat> leaving who we're going to be up to us. It's a real thing. Unconditional love. So here's the song, Nick. Otorongo wawai O jaguar o wawai she nupuri kungi wawa i i kao i wao. She nupuri kungi wawa i i kao i wao. Vida vida wawa i. Vida vida a wawa i. 
Shi nupuri kongi wa wa i, i ka, i wa, i wa. Shi nupuri kongi wa wa i, i ka, i wa, i wa, i wa. Juan Conchitos, all of us. Juan Conchitos, Wawai. She nu puri kongi Wawai. Kai wa. She nu puri kongi Wawai. Kai wa. You are a blessing to all of us, Nick. And we want to be a blessing to you. All of my parts want to be a blessing to all of your parts. Even the parts that uh, you don't think anybody likes. And I was trying to figure out a, a funny way to do this. And so I was reminded uh, one time and I was thinking, oh, fainting standing up or sitting down? And, and it's good to know how to do both. So I, I was going to pretend to faint like. <gasps> <laughs> I love you, Nicker. The whole enchilada, pal. And I'm glad you're born. I'm glad you've decided to be in life now. And I'm glad I've decided the same thing. And we're in the same tribe. And you know it, and I know it, and a lot of people know it. And thank you for all the ways you've helped me typing out the manuscript. <sighs> you know, wiping me off when I needed wiping off. Isabel. Ha, 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 ha.